Yo, 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 you already know what it is, man. Boss Talk 21 Podcast, DJ KG, Episode 8. Got my girl Diamond in the building, YB in the building, and we got a special guest in the building, man. Bigsburg on Ayo Dale, what's poppin', man? What's up with y'all? What's up with man? Man, we glad to have you on the podcast, man. It's our eighth episode, man. We're going to get into a lot of different things. going to get into this new EP you just dropped. It's tearing up the streets now. Views going crazy. Man, like, first of all, we're going to start from the beginning. All right, where are you originally from? Are you originally from Vicksburg? Where are you originally from? I'm from Vicksburg. My, my people from, my dad from Tallulah, across the water. So, but I was just back and forth through it. But I'm really from Vicksburg, though. I claim Vicksburg. Okay, that's how that makes up that 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 uh, how you can transition from that that kind of like Mississippi sound to the Louisiana sound. So okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you travel back and forth sometimes to Louisiana. Type shit. Nah, I ain't gonna just say I be traveling back. Not no more, but shit. When I was young, yeah, yeah, okay. I was out there a lot. So 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 kind of like growing up in Vicksburg. Tell us a little bit about your upbringing, like how you come up and like what got you into music. Man, when I was young, my mama was single, so with three kids, so. You know how it be. I ain't got to go deep in that bed, but it be like that. And then, but with music, it's like, I don't know, fuck. And music, though, bro, I got music because my brother, bro, he was a rapper and shit. You know my brother, Landlord Peace. He was a rapper and shit, but he wasn't, he wasn't really making a lot of music and shit. And I was like, bro, I think I could rap. You feel what I'm saying? Listen to him, then I just started rapping and stuff. You feel me? And we just got him sent in. Instead of driving on some shit. Okay, you say you just started. So, what did you just start? Freestyling, or did you start like writing, or like how did you just like, like I'm just gonna go and do it? What was your first thing that you did? It was Pen and Pad. It okay. was Pen and Pad, my first song. But after that, probably like a year or so, I started freestyling, punching the hands like that. Do you ever feel like some records are still calls for like writing, or you, everything you do is just punching in there? Some t- it depends on the vibe. Like first song, sometimes I probably just write like a bar. After that, then freestyle the rest. Sometimes I just hit a vibe to go in and straight in like that. But it just depends on the beat, though. So pretty much, what's your recording process like? Like, what do you? What's your essentials or something that you gotta have in the studio to get you going? A microphone. That's it. That's, that's it. it. I'm All right. That's, what's that's it. So I know you was like having it because it for me it sounds like when I listen to this this new EP. Uh, just, just let's go back since the name. How I come up with the thirteen thirty eight? Where that comes from? Angel numbers. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Angel numbers. Okay, like, okay, okay. I see one three eight all the time, so I say shit. I'm just gonna put one three three eight on my shit, and then like my license plate. All right? Like they just gave me one three three eight on my license plate. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> So I just put that in my... Um, yeah, that's crazy. Shit. I need to add it to my lottery ticket. You know, the lottery going <laughs> yeah, on. Nah, for sure. My phone, I bet it's something, one, three, eight, gonna pop up. Okay, man. So you got a you guardian angel out there looking for you, them numbers, so, you know, them numbers right there. They you study be. seeing them. They got mm-hmm. be. Have you ever looked up the meaning of one, three, three, eight? Yeah, it, it's good meaning behind the one, three, eight. Okay. It's good meaning behind. Good. Okay, okay. All right, man. Let's, let's get into uh, a couple of these songs off the track, man, because, like, it's... Uh, but like the first one, fuck the city. Oh yeah, fuck the city, man. Not everybody in it, but you. Know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a few of them, a few of them. A few of them. So do you do you like just to trickle back off that? Do you feel like the uh, city divided? Hell yeah, but it it ain't divided because motherfuckers can't. People don't fuck with each other. It divided. People hate on each other and shit. So. Mm-hmm. And all. Okay, you said like the city was divided and everything. What you what you mean by that? Like, do hate you. Like, if I if I get 10K views and he get 5K views, he gonna hate on me. He ain't gonna share my shit. Hmm. He ain't gonna share my shit. Or that's true, that's if true. I fuck her, he ain't gonna fuck with me because he used to fuck with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. That, that was a quick pivot. <laughs> Tend to dig nigga in the city, huh? I'm just giving you, like, what they be hating on. Like, yeah, it, it okay. be good stuff, but, like, if we just, you know what I'm saying? It, it do you feel like the city getting better, or do you feel like it's getting worse, or it's just still stagnated at this point? Mm, it getting better in certain aspects. Like, it ain't just, hating ain't going, I ain't went nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Like, in, in what ways do you think that it's getting better? Sports. Like it, you had to pinpoint. That's it. We getting better in sports. <laughs> <laughs> they be the city ain't really getting better. Yeah, getting better. Yeah. Like uh, like just like uh, do you feel like uh, is anybody in the city? I see no. I really ain't really see no collabs on here. So you ain't you ain't really working with nobody in the city or anybody in the city you want to work with. I I'm on COD. I fuck with COD and LLE shit. That's it. Other than that, nah. 
Because I don't really just make songs because, oh, he can rap. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. If I fuck with you, we can make a song. But if I don't fuck with you, we ain't make no song. Okay. Like, have you ever made a song and then heard someone that is also a rapper in Vicks and thought, like, damn, he'll sound good on this track or da da You never just thought about it like nah, that? Nah, and I ain't even being cocky, nah. I know. Who, who, who um, musically inspired you to do, like... Who inspire you to keep going, or do you have like people that you look up to that like you like the way they create music, or you like their style, and you kind of add a little bit of that flavor to yours? I listen to music. Adele, I listen to Adele so shit. When I when she be going high pitch, they they inspire me to do my high pitches and shit. Okay. Just cause shit, I ain't really scared of nothing on the music side. Like when we go to the studio right now, you gonna be like, man, that nigga tripping, man. What did mine doing? But like, I really be listening to Adele. I go fuck around and listen to some reggae or something like that because I be getting different vibes from different shit. You know what I'm saying? I can tell, listen to the tape, that you're like, you ain't scared to take it there with your music. Like, it has no limits on there. Like, uh, like I said, you was hitting the note on one of these records. I was like, dang. Like, you're going, you going in. It's like, oh, let's get to another record off the, uh, off the EP2 as well. Um, it's the uh, 1338. Uh, yeah. I like that record. Yeah, appreciate it. So what inspired that? Man, I was in Texas. My girl had made me mad. You heard it on that when I was like, um, I ain't scared of this shit. I ain't with I had some shit, but she had made me mad, bro. And then I was like, she ain't calling the check on me. And you know, I'm I'm all the way here. You feel me? I got feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now if I ain't calling the check on you, you we would have been over with. You know what I'm saying? So I got feeling the shit, and shit, she ain't calling the check on me. And I was mad about that. Then it was a lot of niggas that I fuck with. Like I was like, bro, we can get in the blend. But niggas say, man, I'll shoot you. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, nigga, I love you. You feel what I'm saying? Why are you going to shoot me, nigga? We can just get in the fade. You know what I'm saying? So I was just pissed off. So you still, so you kind of still going by the old thing, like, you know, man, we can just knuckle up. We ain't always got to pick the guns up. Facts. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. Facts. Unless it's a nigga I don't know now. I ain't finna just nigga walk up to Nah, nah. You don't control it. Nah, for real. And like another record, another record I, I like, you know, uh, I see this like a lot of uh, you. You may was going through a little, a little pain, little little stuff you experienced in your life. You put it in your record. I see that a lot. You you put a whatever you going through. You put it in your record. Uh, just like the um, oh, I'm trying to think of the record. Uh, number nine. Um, uh, uh, run. Uh, random number nine. Oh, Rondo number nine. Rondo number nine. Oh yeah. What about it? What about it? So do you remember what happened when that song came about? Like what what got you in that mode to? Shit, uh, at the end, uh, I, <laughs> nigga had pissed me off. Every song I'm pissed off, man. Oh That's lord, <laughs> I be pissed off every song. So your music really be having meanings behind shit while you do it. Like like when you make a song, it really be something like really going on, and you just it trigger you to make the song. Like man, I'm gonna talk about this yeah. shit. Talk so shit like in the song, like you heard you when I was like, really? uh, uh. You said no to a favor that you would do for a bitch. Ooh. Like I was trying to, I was trying to better my life, and then the nigga that I'm fucking with, like, they're my partner, like, and then I say, bro, can you just? I need to go run over here to get this, bro, real quick. Nothing illegal, bro. Like nothing illegal. I know. I, I asked for, hey man, what you got going? Nigga say, oh, we just sitting around chilling, bro, just smoking a little blunt shit. I say, bro, you can run me over here, bro, real quick, bro. I got you some game, man. I see how I feel. I say, damn, nigga, trying to handle me, like nah, I'm, I'm gonna fuck around yeah. that motherfucker. Yeah. I say, all right, bet. I cut his ass home. I cut. Yeah, you could definitely tell like that. I, 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 I know a lot of reals can feel that, that that line right there. You said no, you said no for see, we said we do for a bitch. You know what I mean? So I know niggas definitely feel that. And no, women are not bitches. I gotta. gotta I didn't even say anything that time. It's just, we just, we, it's just a lyric, just a lyric. So just when, a lyric. when it comes to the music, like you said, you're not scared of anything. I can tell that you don't mind being vulnerable and sharing you know, your heart and your emotions yeah. is, do you have any songs that you talk about a special lady or you still have your old lady? Yeah. You want to talk about those songs? Like how they came about? Yeah, because the thing is like, because like, when I was young, I ain't never experienced like love type mm-hmm. shit. But it was there, but you don't really feel it unless it just really yeah. come to you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I, I say fell in love, goddamn. I talked about it. Yeah. I talked about how I felt, mm-hmm. and it felt like a certain way. So, 
put it in the song. I got Yaklin Demon. Damn, the every song I'm singing on, goddamn, I'm speaking on it, but mm-hmm. people ain't gonna catch that. They catching the other shit. Yeah, the, the, the messy shit. So, which, which one do you kind of prefer when you're doing music more? Do you like doing the melodies or do you kind of like the the no auto tune, just straight up the raw music? Which one you prefer? Like Melodic. Melodic. Because I like to sing. Feel me? Okay. I like to sing. So, you were saying, like, um, not to just dive. I just want to talk about the emotional thing. Of course, the woman in the room, they yeah. can skip around. Yeah. But, so, as far as when you said that you didn't feel the love when you were growing up, I know you said your mom was a single parent. Like, let's dive into that a little bit more because I think that sometimes we skip over things that happen in our childhood that actually lead us to our purpose in life. Okay. So, with you not feeling the love, would you mean because your mom was busy or you were home and stuff like that? Like, yeah. like what? That's what you mean by that? Yeah, she was busy. Like my mom would work, work, work. Like, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong though. Yeah, like, I ain't no need like. It. Mm-hmm. Well, I was like, we ain't had like a lot, but my mm-hmm. mom made sure we had what we needed. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So okay. she made sure we had what we needed. But as far as like when you working so much, like you can't just put the work down because that was, yeah. that's how you gonna make sure I do what I need. But. A love side, you don't really get the whole love side. Even though my mama loves you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't saying that. I get what you're saying. I get what That's you're saying. That's how it be going with The priority is through loving you with taking care of you. I yeah. get what you're saying. I felt that too growing That's up true. as well. Yeah. How, you, how, you, how you dealing with receiving the love from the city? Like, right, everybody, is, it's a high demand for this interview. Everybody been in my DM and in my inbox telling me we need to get that devil on here. We need to interview him. He, he uh, the streets voucher for him. You know, so how does that feel, and what does that do for you, th- just knowing that the people behind you? Because, you know, man, it, this city is hard for for the gain of people's attention and for them to rock with you. So once you not only just gain their attention, but actually had them to rock with you, that's something powerful. And once you got that, you know you're blessed. So how do you feel about the people just vouching for you? Like you say, blessed, but if I don't be wanting to feel like I'm unappreciative, but... I feel like I deserve it, but at the same time, I'm blessed in the same time because, like like you say, like, they don't really do that right here. Mm-hmm. And then for them to do that, like, I'm blessed, though. Go get 13, 38, Libre. Nah, <laughs> for real. For sure. Libre, go yeah. get 13, They definitely running it up, man. Like uh, like I said, um, you got a lot of people, like I told you, a lot of people screaming your name when you ain't in the room, and that's that's hard from coming from Vicksburg. So, all right, just, just going back, just how you start, like from seeing where you come from and where you at now, you know, what you think was the biggest change besides the change in the look? Yeah. Uh, shit. I ain't nothing really changed yet. Ain't nothing really changed? Like, far as like your, how you approach the music and anything like that? Nah, it's still changed. the same way. It's still the same. Like, I'm still, I'm still big sense out of the I ain't nothing changed yet. So about your creative process, right? I'm going to speak on a little incident that happened years ago that really brought my attention. You know, I see you on live one time, and everybody thought you got hit up, man. Everybody thought you had got shot on live. And just to come back, man, you went viral with it or whatever. What was behind that? Like, what made you just go into that? And what made you, you know, how are you with social media at this point? Because, like, I knew everybody loved bullshit. So, like, y'all, like, fucking with the music and this shit pressure. So y'all want some bullshit. So I'm gonna give you some. And you bullshit. gave them some bullshit, and that gained their attention. That gained their attention. Yeah, and now we here. We here. Nah, for sure. Mm-hmm. So you think that sparked everything? I was got the eyes on you right then and now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 That, that, that shit died down though. I ain't play. I ain't play my cards right on that shit. That shit died down. It died down. But we here now. It, they they watch. Okay. okay, they watching man. So where do you want to go? Like seeing what you what it is. T- you see what it takes now to get the static from people here. So where do you want to take it, like, in the next year to five years? What What's your goal or your set, you know, things to do in the next one year to five years? In a year, I'm going to do I'm going to break it down. In a year, I should be goddamn broad and loud. Five years, I should be doing something with Drake. Okay. I'm some, hey, don't, that's what's hey up. I like that, but don't some big shoes, you know what I'm saying? And you speaking into existence, you know what I'm saying? You're manifesting it. So it's possible, man. Just speak it. Meet God halfway, man, and it'll, it'll happen. Sure yeah. Yeah, for sure. Most definitely, most definitely. And just to, just to dive back in to the your work ethic. I mean, I just I hear from, you know, hear from the grapevine, like most of this stuff was recorded during the pandemic. So this stuff like a year and a half old yeah, that you dropping. So you what you what's the what's the recent stuff like if this is booming and getting drawing everybody's attention, what's the next stuff coming behind it? Uh, 
I be rapping, rapping now. Like y'all, I got a, I got a list song I'm about to drop. Like it's kind of new. I be rapping, rapping. Okay. So this is just play play. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it play play. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's up. So what about your production side? Like how you, when you pick your beats, like how do you go by and you pick your beats? Or do you still do it the old way? Like I'm gonna go on YouTube and find some hard shit, or or are you actually like linking it with certain producers trying to get the beats? Like how what's like what's behind your production? Both really like because y'all fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Trail, I fuck with Trail. Shout out Trail Snap. What up? Shout out Trail. I fuck with um, I fuck with a few nigga Pluto and shit, but he don't really fuck with me like that. But I I be listening to that beats and shit. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> Controversy. Yeah, yeah, he don't really fuck me like that. Why you say that? Yeah, what what makes you like, think that? Like I be hitting him up like, bro, like, bro, I got some hard shit for you, bro. Like, and nigga read my shit. Yeah, yeah, you don't say shit, bro. Like. So they ain't bite. You trying yeah, to tell hard. me you a big fish and they ain't trying to come out and get it. So, so how that makes you... Go so, uh, so, man, get up with my boy, man. You know, check, respond back to the DM, man. Let's get them beats going. Let's work, man. Let's bring some units to the city, man. Let's keep it going. <laughs> a, a, nigga, a nigga gonna cut the check for you, man. I know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Like that. So how that makes you feel like like now since, you're, you know, you getting this traction and all these producers that you try to reach out to, you then left you on red. I know some trying to reach out to you. Like, man, I heard your tape. Yeah. It jumps. So how that make you feel now? You 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 know you, you throwing stones with stones, or you just like, all right, man, you know you know rock with me now. No, I don't take it personal, bro. Cause mm-hmm. like shit, cause I know it been people like there's not saying I'm Drake or nothing, but like it been people that been under me that been trying to rap, but I ain't dropped a song yet. I tell them like go drop a few songs first, then we can do a song. So like he ain't really heard nothing from me or like he don't know me shit. I wouldn't fuck with me, either. but like when I blow with this shit, they I gonna tap in. Yeah, you gonna tap in. Oh, it depends on if I'm mad, you know I'd be getting pissed off. So yeah. if I'm mad at the time, like yeah, we probably might not like it. <laughs> if this if this makes you mad, it's thirteenth if you was mad this whole tape. You need to keep getting mad. Yeah, it's working. It works. It's, it's worth it. Know. I was mad, man. I was mad. I was so mad. It's so much shit to hop off. Man. I feel that. And, right. just and just to go back to a couple more tracks on the um on the tape in South Dallas. So you know, you you spent a little time in Dallas, like how long you was out there? Probably about like a year or two. Probably like a year or two. A year, a year and a half, something like that. And what what did, what the experience was like just being out there in South Dallas compared to being here? Man, this shit's so different. It's different cuz bro, like I you see our city. Mm-hmm. Like our city, I ain't really city, it's still country. Yeah. Right. But down there, it's city. Yeah. Nice city for real. See, we really a town, but it's just so much like the city. Yeah. We like a little baby Jackson for real. So it'd be like, we call it the city, but actually it's a town. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. going to a city is really a city for real. It's just getting up out of this town. We just label it the city. You so know what, what, what year were you in, what years were you in Dallas? Like 2021 through the beginning of 2021 to the the beginning of this year. Okay, and, and that's okay. where a lot of this music, 1338, just came from. Yeah. Did you oh, work yeah. with anybody out there or see anybody out there that you wanted to work it's, with? I would work with a lot of them, like say cheeses and all that, but they don't, they don't, it's hard to get in touch with them. Okay, okay. E- even though, you know, you got a long way to go, but right now, what you have accomplished, what do you have for up and coming artists? This this on the same grind, the same path as you, and he feel like it ain't working, or he feel like this music might not be it. Like, what words can you give him? Man, marketing. Go try to market yourself different or some shit. You probably like ain't around enough uh, positive people. You gotta think positive. So is that important? Like when you're dealing with music, right? It's like being around positive people. Is that really good for them? Even though a lot of times, you know, people love all type, different type of music, like good music, bad music, you know what I'm saying, pain music, all that. But a lot of times, like you said right now, a lot of your best music came from negative situations. Yeah. So it's kind of cliche a little bit. Do you feel like sometimes is it is it really, being around positive people, is it really helping the music or being really around the, the wrong type of stuff really helping the music because you, your best music is coming from the pain situations, really? I really can't even answer it. Like, <laughs> so you saying good music can't come from good stuff? He just ain't got to that like, point yet. Like, uh, I mean, Rod Way, he made a happy song. I'm surprised, but he did. He made one. <laughs> I ain't never heard. 
<laughs> you you had a different ride away. <laughs> so just to dive Not back into real. just to dive back into the music <laughs> too as well. You said a couple lines and I was like, what? I said you said on the line like, uh, you glad you uh, glad it aborted? Like you you caught you slipped up one time? Yeah, I slipped up. She she was bopper though. She was a bopper. Yeah, she was a bopper. I fucked up though. What's a bopper? Uh. Hey, you know, no, you I, know what I'm about. Go and tell her what I'm about. Oh, okay. She was a whore. Yeah. That's what she was. She was a whore. <laughs> she, time. She, you dodged one. And she, uh, I see people say she going. She was going. She, she, she was going. going. She wasn't just. I guess I've been in the house. She wasn't goddamn. <laughs> she wasn't no prostitute going, though, but she was just. She done fucked a few motherfuckers. And I ain't want my dad and my baby mama. All right, but let me ask you this question. Now we're going to get into something. If you ain't want that as your baby mama, why you laying with her? That's a good question, too. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a man. We all know. Yeah. But I just wanted to hear your perspective. I just really wanted to hear your perspective of it. I got a girlfriend now. I can't say she got good pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're going to leave that way. Is it? You know, in the past, you said it. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave it way. Is it? We don't get enough trouble. Hey, just to dive back. Why? Yeah. You feel I guess. <laughs> just to dive back into the music, too, as well. Do you feel like you got a track on there called Waterboy? Do you feel like you the Waterboy or the Bird? You gotta you gotta bring it home. You 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 the one like that people want looking at. Now you the now you the one. You seeing they you seeing the views. You seeing everybody sharing. Damn, they like a Bobby like, Boucher. Like, like you for like, real. Like it really ain't even Waterboy, but I should have named the Waterboy. That be Water Down Baby. Because uh, look, the reason I call it Water Down Baby because I say water on me, I don't give a damn. Like that's a bar. Like down and water. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I got water on me, I won't give you no damn. You feel oh, okay. Right, right. That's all right. The wordplay crazy. Hmm. But do you feel? Do you feel like you 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 the one that everybody want looking at? Not not everybody looking at. Like yeah. you the one got to bring it home. Man, I've been trying so hard to get these these few views, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. As long as you really believe blessed, it, it's though. coming. You feel? It I'm definitely it, it definitely blessed. Like I tell I tell a lot of people in the city, you know. It's hard to get those views. You had to come up with so many different things, so many different avenues. If you ain't making no jig music or or something like this to you know catch their attention, or making some controversial, you kill somebody, you know mm-hmm. something like that. It's hard to kind of get them views, but you actually making it organically, yeah, so true. that gonna stick more than anything. True, true. Then it's got some substance. It just ain't no bullshit. It's got some music with some substance. In it. So it's telling, it's telling some. Uh, let's speak on like. Uh, just like mental health Like you've been going through some things So it's, it's just like a lot of black men Don't talk about their emotions Don't talk about their feelings And, and that mental health is very serious in these days You got a lot of people yeah, yeah. committing suicide And the black man takes a lot on his shoulders Just dealing with being a family you know, ha- uh, Being a father, having a family You know, being responsible You just like single mother You know, you trying to help your mom Make sure she got everything she need And you may be the Yeah Not having a uh Nobody to tell you how to do certain shit. Like, yeah. they ain't even teach us how to do our taxes in school. You got to learn how to do shit. Even though that little, but... But do you let me ask you this coming from where you come from yeah. and enduring all the stuff that you did, do you ever feel like you suffer from PSTD, uh, PTSD? Kind of, yeah. I said, I said that in the song before, yeah. Kind of, yeah. But I don't think it's as bad as the... the I don't want to say that because they're going to feel like I'm just against war veterans. But uh, my shit different from them. Well, no, I, I think I get what you're saying, but we all can have a form of PTSD yeah. from any situation that you go through, whether it's someone that's been a bad relationship, someone who's a man about a relationship, or emotionally trauma relationship. Just you can get yeah. PTSD from anything. Even, even feeling like coming from a, response. even like uh, not to uh, cut you off, mm-hmm. even feeling like sometimes just coming from a single uh, parent home. Sometime or whatever. Sometimes we get a, we adapt to things that we think is normal, but it's really not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when you go, when you try to express that to other people, they not understanding it, and you thinking like they supposed to get it, but they not supposed to get it because that ain't how they was programmed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. a lot of times that ain't always how it is. And and sometimes when it comes to emotional situations, even what you saying like, cause I well we're not really sure what happened in 2020, but. That could cause you to have PTSD because imagine going through that year and not having no type of financial stability, being in a situation where you don't feel like you had no help. Those type of things, like you say, you were angry. That that could be a form and of that too. Later on, you still be kind of mad at the people that were yeah. in that situation with you, but you really could just forget about it. Not just forget about it, but just get over it, and then you'll be better. But 
with that. I don't use hard. You mm. know what I'm saying? Do you believe in forgiveness or trying to find a place of forgiveness? In certain people, forward? certain certain situation depending on what happened. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yeah, talk, I ain't for oh yeah, for sure. You gotta hold them accountable. They gotta stand on whatever they do. Nah, for real. Most def. And just another thing, I just wanna, I just, I know, Ro already talked about what you, like, what your process is like in the studio. Like who, who you hang around with in the studio. Like who you have in the studio. Like you know, that means a lot too when the work, the how, how your stuff is coming out. You know, do you have like your friends, your girl, who you have like in the studio with you? I probably have my, my partner. One of my partners sometimes, sometimes I be solo, but I don't have too many people in the studio because I can't vibe with everybody. Mm -hmm. So you like you, the people that the ones that you do have in the studio, do they give you their real constructive criticism or they just yeah. be like, Dev, that's hard on everything? Like that boy, like my boy Tim, that nigga be in that bed. That nigga be go to bouncing around. If he go to bouncing, he fuck with it because Tim don't move too much. Okay. You feel me? So Tim, when he be in there, I say, bro, you fuck with that? It's straight. It ain't that hard, so yeah, I that's hard. That's, your, that's <laughs> your reassurance. That's hard there, cause I, I see with a lot of artists that you know they will have them yes mans in the studio and be like, that's hard. Be like, nah, you get yeah, it, you I get it to the you you your home all you your so called homeboys and tell you that you hard on this shit is whack. You know what I mean? They ain't, they ain't already shot a video and it's it ain't doing nothing. And they wonder why. And then they want to fight the DJ. <laughs> yeah, so so you in the studio and your homeboy like, man, this shit ain't it. This shit, this ain't your best shit. Like you just which, how you. How you deal with that? You just go back in and be like, you know, I'm just gonna repunch in, or, or you might feel like, man, you don't know what you're talking about. This shit, this the one. Like, how do you deal? Like, how do you deal with that? It go. It, it depends on like if, say for instance, I make a song and it's like some different shit, and he be like, man, I ain't fuck with that, but I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Yeah. Like right. I made the music, you know what I'm saying? But like if he don't fuck with, he do fuck with, it, and I don't fuck with, it, I still might not drop it. Like. You just just your opinion, it's right? For sure. Because it's a billion motherfucker that might fuck with it. That's true. That's true. So, what song off the EP that's been getting the most traction for you? Like you've been getting the most, uh, you know, most comments about like uh, this the one. Love the feeling. Love the feeling. Yeah, love the feeling. Everybody want a video to love the feeling. I gotta get it run shot it. Man, shout out, shout Ron, out Ron, Ron Shot it, man. Shot it. He he definitely the man behind the plan making it happen. Yeah. So what's oh, so what's next for you? Like what's what's next for Dale? Man, we pushing probably February, March. We are gonna fuck around and drop another tape. I'm gonna drop a few more videos. Then I'm just um, drop the tape in probably February, March. A few parties, few few this, few venues. We gonna book. Okay. Okay, you gonna like rap at the venue or like? Oh, okay, so like gonna throw a concert. Yeah, couple, couple more collabs too. You gonna, you know, what I'm saying, gonna collab with some more people, get some more collabs. We gonna get some man. merch. We gonna get some merch and everything. Yeah. Gonna get some, you get some I gear might, out. I might just start wearing everything right there. Ah, right, for sure. Oh, that's hard. Like that. Sound like <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. That's real, man. Sound like a bit. Sound like a bit. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Keeping it home grown. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Most yeah. definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. But man, it's man, it's a blessing having you here with us, man, on the day, man. Let everybody know where they can follow you at and where they can get your new EP at. A Y Y O D V Fish, A O D V Fish. You can get the EP everywhere though. You can go to Tidal, Spotify, wherever your your favorite streaming platform, and you can go anywhere, you know. And we always yeah. close with a tip um, that you want to give someone behind you, or any type of boss talk or gem you want to drop for somebody. So anything you want to say to end this off. Young nigga, don't go to jail fucking with your big home that I did. None of this shit he telling you to do, man. Go make your music and go to school, cause that's it. Yeah. Bless up, bless up. That's some good game, man, for y'all, man. We are Boss Talk 21, man. My girl Diamond, YB. And we closing out. Hey, Odell, man, we out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm
my trip. They for day my nigga locked and told him it might be our year. I give a fuck about what happened. I ain't falling back on the outer rock. Body woman with Cody in it. Teflon on how my dog. Mm-hmm. 